Hello everyone, we are back with part 3 of the CR01 build. Well, we finished up the all the way to the axles yesterday and got the majority of the framework done. Well, today we're going to be starting off with step 6 and that's putting the differentials together. I'll tell you to flip this around. And then we have a thrust washer that goes on here. I like the fact that these are all metal. That greased up, it drops down. Seat's pretty good there. Putting these little planetary gears on. All right, set that down for a second. A little grease in here. Those just sit down. You got three little notches that, that sits into. More grease. That seat's on top of that nice and firm. And you just cap it. All right, back to our nice red thread locker again. nice big meaty differentials definitely seem to be a, a good quality All right, there you have it. Our next step is to move on to step seven, where we'll start to actually start putting the axles and everything into the housings. Let me find the parts for those and get them all set up, and we'll get going on that. All right, we have the axles set up. I already built one, so I'll be able to slap it together a little easier. Uh, you got to get a couple bearings out of the kit. And gear drops right in here. The bearing slides in. The little three millimeter shim. And the, one of those tricky clips. Mm 
And at this point, you want to put a little grease in there. You know, stress how just meaty these axles are. There's a lot of weight to them. Now that's together. You'll set that off the side. Make sure your hole lines up. Slide the pin in. And for this step, you need a little thread locker. I'm gonna make sure I put a decent amount on this pin because you don't really want it coming loose. And the other side lines right up and Pops in there pretty tight. There you go. When you get lined up, should all pop right in place fairly decent. Lather that in grease. I've already uh, pre-coated these four screws that hold the axle housing together. And thread locker figured it'd save us a little time. All right, got all four started. I'm going to go ahead and snug them all down. These are really tight lock differentials. Oh, they have, that's how well you can see it. There's an inspection hole right there. So you can keep an eye on that pin to make sure it's still set the way it's supposed to be. It's pretty nice because you could probably also add some sort of an oil in there if you'd like through that hole. And then they give you a uh, nice block plate there to tap just to cover it up so nothing gets in. And there you have it. Have your front and rear differentials. They're nice and locked. Well, it looks like the next step on eight here is to start attaching uh, all the different attachments to make everything hook up to the links. And I'll get set up on that and we'll get going there. All right, we're gonna move on to step eight. And that's assembling all of this. Let me get going, we got this. We have to drop uh, four nuts down into. Let 
The amount of hardware in this kit is insane. Okay. Oh, looks like you have the long side forward on the long side of the axle. And this clips down over it. Short screw through there with a nylon nut. Alright, and you have one of these silver screws that goes through the front. Well, looks like we had to clip another piece in there first, almost made a mistake. I thought that screw looked a little long. Alright, that clips in the front, and then you have to get the screw through there. And it takes a little bit of the thread locker. Imagine this is one of the ball ends for your links. Not screw through there. And it gets another nylon nut on the other end. Alright, now that is step eight. We'll do the same on the other side, but I'll just go ahead and do that off camera. We'll meet up with you on step nine. Moving on to step nine. Right here, we're going to do this. Let this mount sits right on the side. And got two screws that go through to nylon nuts. These are kind of in an odd spot to get a driver on. All right. 
and then you have another screw that comes through on the lower section. We'll do that up with a little bit of the thread tight. And that gets one of the ball links on it. I'll go ahead and do the other side off camera because it's identical. I've already done the uh, other axle. That's what it'll look like when it's complete. These are some meaty axles. I think this is going to wrap up part three of the build. And we left off finishing up step nine and uh, moving on to step ten for when we return. So thanks for hanging out and staying around throughout the build. And I hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day.